Howdy folks, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. Welcome back to Skyrim. It kind of feels like, you know what, I'm starting, I'm starting to, to, to get back a, I wouldn't say a love of Skyrim, but it, it's, it's making me feel a little bit nostalgic, you know. It, it feels comfortable and familiar. It's like, yeah, I know this game. I've played more than I ever should of this game. It's kind of, it's nice in a way. And then you get this fucking shit. What is this now? Those are, those are like, those, they have to be vigilance, right? I was going to zoom in on them, but that's not how it works in this game. That's a couple of, can we just like, can we just like sort out what these guys are doing? A couple of vigilance of Stender, like hanging around what looks like a, a bear cave. What are you, who are you looking for, guys? Who are you looking for? Must have run off. They're not looking for me. What's all this? A corpse? Okay, nothing we really want to get all up into. Um, I, I can hear. I mean, hang on. We got a note? What's all this then? I'm just looking around to see if we can scum some arrows. Because cause we're going to need them, you know? Yes, I can hear that that uh, Nernroot screaming at me. <laughs> Let's deal with that right quick, because that gets annoying. So we're going in generally that direction. Okay, can we? Yeah, we can get up from here. All right, so we're heading back to White Run. If um, if you had forgotten, or if you hadn't seen the last episode, which I encourage you to to watch. What's all this now? That's an empty goat. <laughs> As you often find from time to time. This is probably not the right way to go. I mean, this is up, uh... That's a... That's a goddamn trial. Well, well look, as a, as a hunter, I should probably try and help these people out, right? Okay, I've only got one arrow left. I don't want to miss. Okay, that's, uh, that's... <laughs> oh, shit! I might be in some trouble here. Oh, no, the townsfolk are going to help me. You know what? So we've run out of arrows, I think. All right, we've got steel arrows. Let's uh, let's not bother with them just yet, and we'll go, we'll go over so, go for some melee action. Oh, sword or mace? I I think I'm kind of obligated to go with the mace, even though I'd like to go with the sword. Um, look, damage wise, mace is probably probably better at this point, even though that ancient Nord axe. I just don't like the way you hold axes in this game, even though some of them look really cool. Uh, yeah, right. Let's go with the mace, even though it's kind of shitty. Can we just, like... Yeah, can we just use the guards as bait? There we go, guys. See, you you, you guys are so lucky that uh, that I came when I did and and helped you take out that troll. Just that, that menace of a troll. Well, at least I get both of my arrows back, and I get some troll fat. Um, which you never, you never know when, when you're going to need troll fat. And you just guys don't even... Good. No one saw me loot the corpse of their, of their beloved, uh, Gwilin. Gwilin, who's, of course, very, very popular in the town of Iverstead. Which, uh, which is where we are. It's unmistakable that we are, in fact, in Iverstead. So... I feel like at this point, it's sort of like six and one half dozen, uh, which way we go around. Honestly, I feel like we might get there quicker if we go around this way. But look, let's let's mix it up so we're not straight up retracing our steps and we'll go around this way. Uh, we're probably going to end up facing uh, facing some wolves, I think. What is it? We'll be no passing lying. by uh, Helgen. Is that right? Helgen. Helgen's a town that was burnt. Jeez, it's been so long. Helgen, Helgen. It is Helgen, isn't it? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> is that, like, terribly shameful? Don't answer that question. But is it terribly shameful that uh, after all the hours I've played that I can't remember what the towns are called? <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I think I, I think I'm think i sort of on a fantasy kick in a way. Like, I still... Like, if I had to only indulge in one form of one genre of media for the rest of my life and you you had to like you made me choose between fantasy and sci-fi i would go sci-fi in a heartbeat not even 
Not even a question, man. But, um... I don't know. I feel like if I had to choose between the setting of the Elder Scrolls or Fallout, I, I think I'm, I might actually go the Elder Scrolls. At least, at least now. You know, the way I'm feeling right now. Don't even, like, that should, that should kill you. This is, I hit that, I hit that wolf so hard. With this big ass piece of metal, you know? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I do like the feel of, of shield play in this. It does feel nice. I think that's, that's really the only way. It's the only decent feeling vanilla melee combat in the game. Uh, personally, I don't think, I don't, none, at least none of the mods I've tried, uh, which is, I think most of the major, you know, combat overhaul mods, I don't, I don't think any of them really get it right. It's sort of, and it's, it's not, it's not like their fault. It's just not a lot of, not a lot to work with here. That's a, that's a deer, so we're all right. <laughs> There's not a lot to work with here in terms of, um, am I going the right way? Let me just double check. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Not a lot to work with in, in terms of the, the, the melee combat. It's pretty rudimentary. But I like how it feels in its vanilla state with a, with a weapon and a shield. It feels uh, tactical enough, you know. I know some people are going to disagree with that, but, but for me, it, it works. It's fine. Plus, I, I really like the concept of just smacking people up with a shield. And it's really working against these wolves. Do we look like dry cool? I imagine like if the animations weren't shit, we'd, <laughs> we'd probably look really dry cool. But uh, yeah, let, let's keep it first person for the most part. Ah, take that, I'll just whack you with my shield. I haven't got a problem. I'm really missing the Pip-Boy light right about now, you know? Also, I'm gonna try and not loot things until combat is over. <laughs> So I think we've just run out of stamina. Oh, we did for a second. Oh, it feels so right. I love that. There we go. Uh, we, we ran out of stamina for a moment, but... We wouldn't have been able to tell because iHUD is preventing us from seeing such things, which is nice. I'm also going to try... I'm going to make a concerted effort not to look at my uh, stats every, every five seconds. So meaning going, you know, going to the, the big old... Looking at the constellations and whatnot. I, I trust that facing those wolves has has not damaged us uh, sufficiently for us to be concerned, you know? We're probably fine. So, we need to start thinking about, uh, well, who's this for one? What do you want? Well, look, I know what he wants and the Dragonborn doesn't really care. He's just an orc on the road. Why would you, like, think about it, really? Think about. It. I know it's like the wilderness, but people are sort of used to it, used to the wilderness in Skyrim. Let's face it. Like if you're walking down the street, and there's like no one on the street, and then you pass someone, are you gonna say hi? Are you gonna concern yourself with their problems? No, you're not, dude. You're lucky if walking down the street. What's all this? Oh, it's just a rabbit. It's just a hunter trying, hunter trying to arrow a rabbit. Look, I'm not. This is clearly a bad hunter, not because they're missing, but because they're trying to chase a rabbit. This is not how you hunt. You've got to you got to catch the animal unawares, and once it starts running and you start wasting ammunition on it, it's a lost cause. You go for another rabbit. This is how hunting works. Clearly, this is not an experienced hunter. Look, I'm chasing down this rabbit better better than that goddamn hunter is. I could smack this rabbit with my uh, motherfucking mace, and uh, I'd be done with it. You run, little guy. You run. You deserve a better death, death than at the hands of someone as incompetent as that. When you're ready to die, you come to me. Okay. We need to start to think about... Um, I'm just going to throw in a quick save there. No one, no one uh, be concerned. Um, we need to start thinking about a replacement for... Skyrim and Fallout 4. Purely because, as I mentioned in my in my most recent Fallout 4 video, uh, which you will see Friday night, or perhaps your Friday morning, depending where you live, 
um, interest for those games has started to to dwindle on YouTube, which is understandable. I mean, it's it's taken it long. <laughs> you know, Skyrim has had a really good run. Like, like you wouldn't believe. I had a look at um, at like the Steam Spy numbers for how many people playing certain games at any given time. Um, and and Skyrim's current average, if I remember correctly, actually blew Rocket League's peak players out of the water, right? So just, let me just think, let that sink in for a moment. So the amount of people on a regular basis now playing Skyrim is greater than the than the peak in Rocket League. Now it could be wrong; they could be remembering it wrong. But but regardless, I can guarantee that uh, that. Th Skyrim is substantially more popular and continues to be more popular um, than Rocket League is, which surprises me, which some of you might think, well, of course, why is that weird? But it surprises me because Rocket League is not only just such a fantastic game to the point of it, it makes people who aren't interested in sports games or just those sort of games in general, like the, the, the gameplay of, the, of Rocket League. Um, like myself, I'm not really into that sort of thing. It, it makes people like that want to play it. I, I play Rocket League uh, on a weekly basis just because it's so it's, it's so easy to get into and it's just like instant gratification. You're doing something uh, cool. It's fun, you know. Uh, th there's that. And, and also, th like the competitive nature of it, competitive games tend to, I suppose... Have, have a longer life because, you know, people just drawn back to the, you know, got, got to rank up and be better and this and that. Um, so it surprises me that it's, it's not as popular as Skyrim. <laughs> it's just a testament to how, how bloody well Skyrim did. I mean, Fallout 4 had, um, substan like substantially more peak players than Skyrim ever did. But now, now that Fallout 4 has plateaued, they're actually like, almost identical in terms of the amount of people playing them at any given time, which is really interesting. So that, that whole thing aside, um, but yeah, it's, uh, interest is slowly dwindling. So we've got to come up with something else. And I'm actually, I'm actually, this could be blasphemous. This could be a little bit, uh, demonic. I didn't mean to right click there. I'm terribly sorry. I'm actually kind of interested in Dark Souls 3. Which, which is, it's illicit for me because I really, I really hated Dark Souls 1. And what I mean by I really hated Dark Souls 1 is I can't play that thing for more than half an hour. And I haven't gotten out of the starting area just because it's so... Look, and part of that is the PC port. You know, I'll concede that. Um, but it's just, it's... <laughs> It's, it's too clunky for me. I just couldn't do it. It's not even a matter of the difficulty. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 no, it's not the difficulty. Yes, it's, um, uh, it's not even, like, diff I wouldn't, I don't want to say it's hard. It's, it's just, y once you learn the patterns, obviously, it's not that hard. Um, and I understand the concept of how you play it. You know, you have to, you have to figure out what the enemies do, how they attack, and you have to, you know, I'm familiar with those sort of games. It's like it's like um, Monster Hunter. You know, it's sort of. Um, and I really like Monster Hunter, so it's not like it's not like you can say, well, you just don't like those sort of games. Um, it's it's tempted me so many times. I just couldn't get into that that specific game. It's more like it just it gives me no motivation to actually to actually learn how to play it. You know. Um, and considering that I have hope for like Dark Souls 3, uh, because it's, it's coming out on PC straight off the bat. So I'm kind of hoping or assuming, probably more hoping that, um, it's going to feel nicer on PC straight off the bat. Um, if I have to use, like, if it requires a controller, I don't think I'll do it. <laughs> you know, I really, I'm not a big fan of controllers. Well, certainly not the one that I've got. Um, until I can get my hands on a Jewel Stop, a Jewel's, Jewel Shock 4, rather. Because I, I don't like 360 controllers at all. Or just Xbox controllers. Not a fan, not a fan. Um, I, I'm actually a PlayStation fanboy. Even though the last PlayStation product I purchased was a PlayStation 2. In fact, it's right in front of me right here. I've got my uh, computer screen atop it. <laughs> there yeah.
That was a big old rant. But basically, yeah, what do you think of Dark Souls 3? I want something deep that I can sink my teeth into. Um, and it's not like, um, it's not like the next Elder Scrolls game is going to come out anytime soon. Um, and we didn't even know what they're doing, because I'm actually kind of nervous that due to the, the huge mainstream success of Skyrim, that, that Elder, the next Elder Scrolls game is going to pander so much to the masses that, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If that's, you know, if it's a business, if that's the best move for them, business-wise, you know, fine. Um, it's just, you know, I don't have to play it. <laughs> I probably won't. Um, but yeah, I've also heard rumors. That, again, like, I don't know how, how reliable these rumors are. They are just rumors. But I've heard people say that apparently uh, the next Elder Scrolls game is going to be set in Skyrim again. Which, I mean, the cynical part of me goes, yeah, that'd be right. Because it's like, well, Skyrim was so popular. Let's just do the same thing again. But... I also, I don't know if, like, Todd Howard and his team are, are that scummy. I, I, I like to think that they have a little more passion for the, for the universe and whatnot. I mean, it's their unique universe, right? It's not like they bought it off anyone. Like, my first instinct is to say, yeah, Bethesda created the Elder Scrolls. Um, but I'm just, I'm sort of hedging my bets because, you know, chances are... That, <laughs> you know, maybe there's something I don't know. And they did buy it from someone eventually. I mean, um, buy it from someone like in the early days or something. But I'm pretty sure it's completely original for them. So, you you know, I'd like to think that they've got, they've got more respect for, I don't know, the roots of the, of the series. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's all just, it's all just, uh, hearsay and, and, uh. Uh, what's the word? Uh, speculation, you know, up to this point. But for the here and now, what's uh, what is there that's n that's new or coming out that uh, that can contend with the will of Skyrim? I just I got a hankering for something. I feel like yeah, Dark Souls Three is the way to go. But you know, I could end up hating that as well. <laughs> Seeing other people play it, I'm like, this is cool. This is the kind of thing, you know, I want to get into. And the story's vague enough that you can weave your own stories into it, which is kind of cool. I mean, certainly it's not as... You there. Oh. We're looking for someone in Wife Run. And we'll pay good money for information. Well, I don't... Look, I don't think we have a brothel, brothel in Wife Run, all right? Maybe you want to check Riften. So, just leave me alone, man. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Who? I'm not a pimp. Get out of here. Okay. What do you need? We're here in White Run, locked at 30 FPS. Why is why are we suddenly at 30 FPS inside White Run exclusively? This is this is terrible. I'm sorry, but anyone who controls video games with a mouse and says that that 60 FPS is not necessary is g goddamn high, okay? This is so bad, I can feel, I can feel the 30. That's it's so iron sluggish and terrible. Iron, solid and true. Oh my god. By the divines. What the fuck? <laughs> can we get out of 30 FPS, please? All right, good, thank you, Skyrim. This is much better, this is 60 now. Oh my shit. Oh, okay. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Hey, great, yeah, tell me your life story. That sounds like a fucking fantastic idea. What can I get you? Um, I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Okay, all right. All right, bye. I'll show you to your room, right okay. this way. Okay, you can do that too. Hey, do you come with a room, baby? I feel like I've made that joke before. But it was so long ago, I can make it again and it's fine. So, just deal with it, man. It's fine. Anyway, uh, you know, give me your, your suggestion. We're going to finish up the episode here um, with a bit of sleeping. You know how it is. Let um, me know if there's anything else you need. Cool. And then, you know what? We'll probably... Uh, we'll probably... 
discuss the uh, the possibility of. Uh, do I get my own little? This is like a nice room for oh, ten gold. Yes, this is pretty good. You still need to remove that blood stain. This is. Oh, incident. I could get used to this, you know. Oh yes, Mr. I've you know I've I've gotten a, a boiled cream treat straight off the bat. This is service. It's scummy old white run. Yeah, I can deal with that. I mean, I would have liked the door here. This does feel a little bit exposed, but it's not like. I mean, the chance of, of someone walking in here, you know, from up here, they, they don't, they'd have to go out of their way. They'd have to be like a peeping Tom or something, which is fine. I mean, I get my own sliced goat cheese right here, though apparently that is stealing. So it's just like, well, they store it up here, but but guests aren't allowed to touch it. I'm not sure about that. Seems a bit strange. Um, more sliced cheese. Do they just use cheese as like decoration in this place? I mean, I respect it as a life choice, but... Um, I'm not sure about the hygiene associated with that. Anyway, guys, um, you let me know. You know, if there are any games that I'm not aware of. But keep in mind, they've got to be fairly new and have, you know, be popular enough. Um, uh, you know, for obvious reasons. But yeah, I'm, I'm on the lookout for, for something, something rich and deep. Um... You know, with 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 deep character customization, that's probably what we're about. Uh, the Witcher is an absolutely fantastic game, but one of the things that sort of keeps it from being a staple, um, video content-wise, is the fact that you know you can't customize your character and whatnot, which of course makes sense because it's a it's a set story about a singular character, Geralt of Rivia, and it is Geralt. I'm sick of people calling him Gerald or something like that. It's fucking Geralt. Deal with it. It's a hard G. G -g -g. <laughs> Feeling kind of salty today. I don't know why. I don't know why, man. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to gently caress that like, like button. It needs love like everything does. Taste the game, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.